The universe is a vast and mysterious expanse, filled with countless stars, galaxies, and nebulae, all brimming with energy and matter. But what if, at its most fundamental level, the universe's total energy is actually zero? What if the positive energy of matter and radiation is perfectly balanced by the negative energy of gravity? This is the mind-bending concept of the zero energy universe a cosmological hypothesis that challenges our intuitive understanding of energy and its role in shaping the cosmos. In this video, we'll delve into the intricacies of this theory, exploring its scientific foundations, its potential implications, and the ongoing debate surrounding its validity. We'll examine the concept of gravitational potential energy, the negative energy associated with the gravitational attraction between massive objects, and how it could potentially cancel out the positive energy of matter and radiation in the universe. We'll also consider the implications of a zero energy universe for our understanding of the Big Bang the expansion of the universe, and the ultimate fate of the cosmos. Whether you're a physics enthusiast, a cosmology buff, or simply someone intrigued by the mysteries of the universe, this exploration of the zero energy universe promises to challenge your assumptions and spark a deeper appreciation for the delicate balance of forces that make our existence possible. And who knows, perhaps by contemplating this mind-boggling concept, we can gain new insights into the fundamental nature of energy, the origins of the universe, and the potential for a universe that arose from nothing. The Zero Energy Universe Hypothesis, a mind-bending concept in cosmology, proposes that the total energy content in the universe is precisely zero. This might sound paradoxical given the vast amounts of matter, radiation, and other forms of energy we observe in the cosmos. However, the hypothesis suggests that this positive energy is perfectly balanced by an equal amount of negative energy, resulting in a net energy of zero. The key to this idea lies in the nature of gravity. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity is not simply a force but a curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. This curvature, in turn, has an associated energy known as gravitational potential energy, which is negative. The zero energy universe hypothesis proposes that the positive energy of matter and radiation in the universe is exactly cancelled out by the negative gravitational potential energy. This means that the universe, despite its apparent abundance of energy, could have arisen from a state of nothingness, a concept that has fascinated physicists and philosophers alike. This hypothesis is often described as a universe from nothingness, although it's important to note that it doesn't imply the absence of any physical entities. It simply suggests that the total energy of the universe, when accounting for both positive and negative contributions, is zero. The idea of a zero energy universe is supported by several observations and theoretical considerations. For example, the universe appears to be spatially flat on large scales, which implies a delicate balance between the positive energy of matter and the negative energy of gravity. Furthermore, the universe exhibits a symmetry between matter and antimatter, with each particle having an antiparticle counterpart with opposite charge. This symmetry suggests a potential for cancellation between positive and negative energy contributions. Other examples of cancellation in nature include the opposing spins of particles, the balance between positive and negative charges, and even the crests and troughs of electromagnetic waves. These phenomena hint at a deeper underlying symmetry in the universe, where opposing forces and properties can cancel each other out, potentially leading to a net energy of zero. The idea of a zero-energy universe has a history spanning several decades. It began in World War II when Pascal Jordan suggested that a star's positive mass energy could be cancelled out by its negative gravitational field, allowing for the creation of a star from a quantum fluctuation in the vacuum. This idea caught the attention of Albert Einstein, who, according to George Gamal, was so taken aback by the concept that he stopped in his tracks while crossing the street, causing several cars to slam on their brakes to avoid hitting them. While the initial concept was intriguing, its development was slow. Richard Feynman made the first notable calculation related to this idea in 1962. However, the concept faced hurdles due to its dependence on the choice of coordinate systems, particularly in relation to the energy associated with frames of reference that rotate with the entire universe. In 1987, Alan Guth published a proof demonstrating that gravitational energy is indeed negative, providing a crucial foundation for the zero energy universe hypothesis. However, the mechanism for generating both positive and negative energy from an initial state of nothingness remained a mystery. Stephen Hawking proposed a potential solution in 1988, suggesting a model with cyclic time, where the universe undergoes repeated cycles of expansion and contraction. In this model, the positive and negative energies generated during each cycle would cancel each other out, maintaining the overall zero energy balance. 
The development of the Zero Energy Universe concept gained further momentum in 1994 following Nathan Rosen's work on a special case of a closed universe. In 1995, J.V. Narlicker demonstrated that the total energy of such a universe is indeed zero. This provided a mathematical framework for understanding how a universe with both matter and gravity could have a net energy of zero. In 2009, a zero energy solution was also found for Minkowski space, a flat space-time that represents our observable universe. This further solidified the theoretical foundation for the zero energy universe hypothesis. Stephen Hawking, in his book Brief Answers to the Big Questions, offers a simple analogy to explain this concept. He compares the creation of the universe to a man digging a hole to build a hill. The soil removed from the hole becomes the hill, creating a balance between the positive mass of the hill and the negative space of the hole. Likewise, Hawking suggests the Big Bang created a massive amount of positive energy in the form of matter, but it also created an equal amount of negative energy in the form of the gravitational field that permeates space. This ensures that the total energy of the universe remains zero, even as it expands and evolves. While the zero energy universe hypothesis is theoretically appealing, gathering experimental evidence to support it has proven challenging. Current measurements suggest that the gravitational energy from visible matter, like stars and galaxies, only accounts for a fraction of the total mass energy density of the observable universe. This means that to reconcile the concept of a zero energy universe with our observations, we need to identify other sources of negative energy besides the gravitational pull of ordinary matter. Dark matter, a mysterious and invisible substance that interacts with ordinary matter only through gravity is often proposed as a candidate for the missing negative energy. However, the exact nature of dark matter and its contribution to the universe's energy budget remain unknown. While its gravitational effects are observed, its composition and properties are still a subject of intense research and debate. Therefore, the experimental proof for the observable universe being a zero energy universe is currently inconclusive. More research and observations are needed to fully understand the distribution and nature of dark matter and its potential role in balancing the universe's energy. The quest to verify or refute the zero energy universe hypothesis is an ongoing one pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the cosmos and its fundamental principles. By exploring the mysteries of dark matter and its potential connection to the universe's energy balance, scientists hope to shed light on the origins and ultimate fate of the universe. We've journeyed through the fascinating concept of the zero energy universe, a mind-boggling idea that challenges our understanding of the cosmos. We've explored its theoretical foundations, its potential implications for the Big Bang and the universe's ultimate fate, and the ongoing debate surrounding its validity. The Zero Energy Universe hypothesis, while still a subject of scientific inquiry, offers a captivating perspective on the nature of reality. This suggests that the universe, with all its vastness and complexity, could have emerged from a state of nothingness, a delicate balance between positive and negative energies. If this exploration has sparked your curiosity, I encourage you to delve deeper into the world of cosmology and explore the latest research on the Zero Energy Universe. Investigate the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, and constantly contemplate the profound implications of a universe that could have arisen from nothing. And who knows, perhaps by pondering the delicate balance of forces that shape our cosmos, you'll be inspired to make your own contributions to the ongoing quest to understand the universe and our place within it. The answers to these cosmic mysteries may not lie just in the stars, but in the inquisitive minds of those who dare to ask the big questions. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.